I think in order to be successful, and you have to burn your boats. Like you have to cut the net, you have to cut the cord. Like you've you've got to take a risk, and you're not doing it right if you're not a little bit scared. And I think there's nothing scarier than coming to New York City with no money and not knowing exactly how you're going to make it work. It's a get up and go, you know, the get up and go attitude, ready, set, go all day long. Like you, if you don't take the initiative to do what you want to do every day, it's not going to happen. So you just got to do it. Mindset is, is everything for us. Like you wake up every day and you have a choice. You know, you get into the car or you get into your Uber, you go into the train, you go outside and you either, you either have a window to your right where everything is sunny and awesome or you look out the window to your left and it's pouring rain and it really, really sucks. You have a choice in this business to wake up every day and say, you know what? I don't care what happens to me today or what happens with any deal, sun shining. Let's go after it and let's get it. And I think that that is integral to all of us. And I think if you look at anyone on this panel and a lot of people in this room, the, the real estate agents who've been in this the longest, who've had that endurance, who are the most successful, are the ones who have that attitude and have the highest amount of energy. And they work for it. It's not, it's definitely not easy. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. Sorry. A lot of people who sent in their applications for Free Your NYC who didn't win wrote to us and wrote through social and you know wrote to us through YouTube saying that they're bummed out they didn't win, um, but they they think that we picked the right person because they're blown away by Sam's story and they're now more motivated than ever because we help them. Uh, really, really put their thoughts down on paper by doing the application to come here and do it anyway, which I think is awesome. Like, it's, it's crazy. What's going on, dude? What's up, man? Bailey! Ryan, my goodness gracious. What's up? Nice, nice to officially meet you, sir. This is amazing. The most persistent man I've ever seen. I think you found every single person on my team. You found my fucking dog and got my dog to tell me about you and your application. My name is Bailey Bolton. Nicole Uslag. Velko Malusnik. Morgan, I'm from Minnesota. Yo, what's up, Ben? Hey, Adrian, how you doing? I'm doing super well. Actually, give me one second. Can you hold this for me real quick? Yo, what's up? Hey, Ryan. What's going on? Good to meet you. Nice beard. <laughs> oh my God, hi. Hey. We love you, we love your story. Thank um, you so much. It didn't feel right just to pick one person. Like we knew we had to pick one person to get the free year, get the apartment, get everything, come to New York. We'd work with them and everything. But there were so many great people. Like um, one of the like runner up winners is a guy um, who's in a wheelchair who wants to come to New York City to create um, a program called Wheels NYC, which is going to teach people um, uh, where in New York City it's easiest to get around with if you're handicapped or in a wheelchair. And as a real estate agent in New York City, I can tell you firsthand, walking these streets every single day, I cannot even imagine what it would be like to be in a wheelchair trying to get around New York. Um, and so he's gonna create an app for, uh, for people who are handicapped and that's awesome. And so we wanna help him do that. Um, uh, the other runner up is Regina. Hey, hey Regina. Um, Regina um, uh, had a brain bleed. We want to fly out to New York to meet Ryan for some time and just hang out and see how we can help your business and help you any way we can. Um, and she then had to take a lot of different medications during her recovery and she had a hard time remembering all the different types of pills that she had to take and which ones at what time and these at uh, this part of the day. And so she created a, uh, an, a very updated version of the pill box. So instead of a little plastic pill box that you pick up at the pharmacy, it's like a, it's a pill box that is connected to your phone that'll alert you on your phone to tell you when to take your medicine. And when you look at the pill box, it lights up to tell you how many of these pills and how many of those pills. Yeah, there's, there's, there's something that we say in our office, um, you know, uh, where we say that you have to burn your boats. Um, Adrian Vasquez, who's my lead vlogger, uh, that's his saying and it's, it's caught on. The concept of burning your boats goes like this. It started from a story where the Spanish conquistador Hernán Ortiz uh, sailed from Spain to Mexico in four boats. Um, and when they got to Mexico, the crew saw how big Mexico was and how many people there were and were intimidated and basically told Cortez, hey, we can't do this. There's too many of them and not enough of us. 
So what Cortez did was he lit their boats on fire uh, and told his crew, well, we don't have any options. We can't go back home. Um, they ended up conquering Mexico and that's a whole different story. But the moral of it is when you put yourself in a position where you have no option back, you figure it out. Survival mode kicks in, like fight or flight. You're not doing it right if you're not a little bit scared. And I think there's nothing scarier than coming to New York City with no money and not knowing exactly how you're gonna make it work. Um, but then you figure it out. The absolute biggest and best deals I've ever done in real estate came from deals I lost. That is the truest statement I could ever make. The biggest losses I've ever had that crushed me, where I fought so hard, I went at it forever, I pitched for a year to get a project and didn't get it, what came from that loss then changed my life. Because I met somebody, my mindset was in a completely different place, it set me up to go after something else that I otherwise never would have gone after before, and I got that one. And that one turned into another deal, that turned into another deal, that turned into another deal. I am more thankful for every loss that I've ever had than I am for my wins. If you applied and you didn't win, use that application as a kick in the ass, as a fire for you to actually start making moves in your life that you otherwise weren't gonna make anyway. And not winning is gonna change your life in ways that you don't even understand now, but you've gotta put things in motion to make that happen. You can't just block the river up. You can't just put a dam in front of you and say, oh, well I didn't win so now I can't go to New York. No. I can figure it out. The best people who filled out the application who lost are the ones who've already written to my team, who followed up on Facebook, on YouTube, who've called my office, who've said, you know what? I didn't win, but I think Sam's pretty awesome. We know why he won, but I'm coming to New York anyway. I'm not gonna come next month, but I'm gonna be there in September. I know I'm gonna quit my job that I'm in right now. I'm gonna save up enough money. I'm gonna find a roommate online. We're gonna live in Brooklyn. I'm gonna pay a dirt cheap rent just to be there. And I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna make things happen because I believe in burning boats. Make it happen on your own and start right now. If you gotta save up money, save up money. If you need to get a second job to save up more money, get a second job. If you can't get here tomorrow, but you can get here in September, get here in September. And if you're a person who's got the courage to fill out an application that was pretty long, to send it to a total stranger you never met before, in the hopes of picking up in the middle of nowhere and moving to New York City for a year, then you're the type of person who can burn your fucking boats and actually make things happen for yourself. And that type of person is somebody that is right in line with me and you're the reason we did this application or you're the reason we did Free Your NYC. Having to go through like the mindset of like why you deserve this huge opportunity over thousands of other people probably applying and kind of like having to back that up with like actually being able to explain how you were going to make use of the opportunity was kind of like a, like a wake up moment for me personally. Okay. My mind is like still blown right now, but I just wanted to say thank you so much to the Sirhan team for putting on this competition. It was such an amazing act of generosity that you guys did. Y'all have rocked this. This has been such a cool contest and the fact that you opened up a dialogue with your fans, given us an opportunity to chase our dreams. I think the biggest thing that I learned from this was that in order to be successful, like you have to reach out, you have to participate, you have to give back, you have to put yourself out there. Um, otherwise the answer will always be no. New York City in a few weeks, um, to be exact in two weeks, um, that plan is being put into action now. And I'm really, really, really happy again that you guys did something like this. Free year in New York City was without a doubt the best opportunity of the past decade. And I'm beyond grateful to have been a part of it. Thank you to everyone who helped make this happen. This was such a cool opportunity, and I'm really excited to see what Sam does. Peace and love out to the world, and I'll see y'all soon. Thanks so much for the opportunity. Peace out. I just want to give a huge thank you to Ryan and his team. I think what you guys did is absolutely incredible. When I sent in my video, I didn't think anyone was going to see it. So to be named as an honorable mention, it's huge. It means so much. Seeing the other submissions, it's inspiring. It's motivating. And now I just want to work harder. Thank you so much, guys. And uh, we're probably going to end up doing it still regardless that we didn't win. Yes, that's the yeah. attitude. I love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. They're about to fly me out to LA in a couple weeks to record some stuff, which is crazy. Bro, that was incredible, dude. Fuck yeah, That's dude. Awesome.
That's it. My name is Jack Rule. And Be awesome! Dude, I'm your biggest fan. Um, which is why I'm, uh, I'm talking to Ryan and we want to get you like a summer internship if you're down. I would absolutely love that. Nice, dude. We want to work with you. You're an incredible storyteller, like I said. Got the job offer, so um, I have to be there next Wednesday. FDNY right here. <gasps> nice, no dude. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, to do work on your passion, just a step closer, and even mentally, too. Like It encourages me to keep going. You already made up your mind. Now come here and let's fucking go. End of vlog. <laughs>